and welcome back to my channel so I filmed an intro for this video already that is not me sitting here looking like this but I just wanted to preface this video before we get into it to just say that I filmed this video in July of 2021 and it is now end of September 2021 so I just wanted to say that a lot of things have changed in the past couple of months um, just because I have moved back to the United States and have started going to graduate school in person now as opposed to virtually, which is what I was doing last year. All of the advice that I give in this video and like things that I'm talking about in this video are still, I think, quality advice and things that still apply. But I just wanted to preface the video to say this was filmed a while ago. So if you follow me on Instagram and you know that I've already moved, or you're just confused about the timeline um, because I am talking about what I was doing over the summer a little bit then that would be why it's because I'm no longer there anymore and I am in the US in an apartment um, living with a roommate so back to long distance again so yeah I just wanted to give that little life update and I'm going to be following this video with a like a longer life update and Kind of the things that have been happening the past couple of months why i haven't been posting as well um no big reason i just was extremely busy and wasn't really posting much so yeah anyways i have this video that i wanted to upload i also have a sort of getting ready to leave lebanon video that i never got onto my computer and, and edited or anything like that and then after that i want to um, make a life update and just kind of let you guys know what I've been up to and all the life changes because there have been a lot. So yeah, that's kind of, that's all I wanted to say. So enjoy the video. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that I actually found really interesting. I really like talking about like relationships and um, you know, advice for relationships. Not that I'm an expert, but you know, I just like, it's just a topic of conversation that I enjoy. Um, talking about so this is kind of gonna be like I guess kind of like a girl chat video where I'm gonna be talking about um, dealing with so this is something that a friend of mine asked me about she was asking for advice so I thought that it would just make a really good video idea friend was basically asking me how do I deal with being in a relationship with someone who is really busy all the time and how do I stay patient with that and basically my friend knows that my husband is a student and I am also a student so we both have very very busy schedules and for our entire relationship that's actually been how it's been we've both been students for our whole relationship so for a long time also side note sorry if you can see my sweat on my face it's very very hot here and I don't have an AC in this room but anyway so my friend was asking me about how I deal with that busy schedule that I have and that my husband has and how we spend time together with such a busy schedule, how we figure that out and how to just be patient with that situation because I think that's obviously not an ideal situation when you're married to feel like you're so busy all the time that you can barely spend any time with your spouse. So she was asking, how do I stay patient with that and like, what do I do to get through that situation? So that's basically what I wanted to talk about. So I have some notes on my phone. My camera battery died and so I actually have taken an hour break between filming the intro and filming what I'm about to do right now. But anyway, so I'm gonna get straight into the topic and talk about just like how to deal with having a busy schedule, how to stay patient with it when you're in a relationship and you wanna obviously be spending time with your spouse. Like just what things I do that can maybe be helpful. As I was saying, me and my husband are both students, but one thing that we do is that we make sure to have, not every single day, but a lot of days, we make sure to have one meal together. So, and that doesn't have to be dinner. It can be whatever meal is most convenient for us to eat together. So whether that's breakfast or like lunch when he gets home from school and I'm just waking up because we have very different schedules because I am a graduate student based at a school in the United States. So I am have been doing my whole year remotely. And so while I've been, been in Lebanon, I've been working very much in the evening. So I start my day around like later afternoon and then it ends around midnight 
whereas my husband goes to school early in the morning when I'm sleeping. So when I get when he gets home from school, I'm usually waking up and then sometimes we'll eat a meal then together, like we'll have eggs or something like that. And that's just a way for us to spend time. So just kind of ensuring that you can eat a meal with your spouse is I think really important. Even if it's a quick thing, even if it's like, you know, a random time during the day, I think that that's one way to spend time with each other and that's something that we do. But also another thing is just like finding little times to spend together, even if they're short, even if they're, you know, while somebody's doing a certain activity, finding little times I think is important. So like if, you know, one person in the relationship exercises every day, then maybe exercising with your spouse or if one person goes on walks every day, then taking those walks with your spouse, that's a great way to spend time with your spouse. Like I said, even if it's just a small thing, even if it's while one person is cleaning, just spending time, like if one person's washing dishes, go sit with them while they're washing dishes and talk to them. You know, that's just, just these small little ways to spend time with each other. I think they add up and they allow you to feel like, to, to not feel like you are never seeing your spouse um, or the person that you live with. Also, another thing that we do is like planning activities together. So we, me and my husband really like going to the beach. So that's something that we'll plan to do. And it is difficult sometimes when, you know, especially as students, you may have work on the weekends. And so it is sometimes hard to find a time that will work for both of us. But, you know, this one time we were planning on going to the beach and we tried to go multiple times and it just wasn't working out. Like we had tried to go one Sunday and then the following Sunday we tried to go and it just it just wasn't working out that we would both be free during that time. So then we shifted the time that we would go to the beach to a Monday or to a Tuesday. And I had some like cancellations of clients so I didn't have to be on Zoom at like, you know, in the afternoon when I usually would. So then we ended up going to the beach during the day after my husband came home from school. So that's like one way that we just found a way to fit in this activity together, like during a random time during the week. And um, just because of a cancellation that I had and my husband had less work on a Tuesday, weirdly enough, than he did on a Sunday. So that's something that we did and it was just, it took flexibility, it took planning, but it was a way for us to plan an activity that we could both do together, that we both enjoy, um, just to spend some quality time with each other. Another thing that she asked me is my friend when she was asking me about, you know, what I do to spend time with my spouse, is she was asking me about how to be patient with that situation when both parties are really busy. Yeah, when both people are really busy and that's how it's been for a long time, how do you stay patient with that and, and stay positive when you're not really getting to spend a ton of time with your spouse? And what I was telling her was really focusing on the end, on the end goal or like the end in sight um, or like, you know, looking ahead to when this is going to be over. Because of course, I do think that if both parties are extraordinarily busy, like much more busy than the average person, you know, for their entire relationship, I think that could be really, really difficult um, because there is no end in sight, so to speak. But when you're students, there is an end. Like you know when, how many years this is gonna last and then you will be able to start working or whatever it is and that'll make you a little bit less busy than you are as a student. So what I do to stay patient is I just look at, I'm like, okay, I have this many years left, my husband has this many years left and then after that point, we can spend more time together because we won't be students anymore. And same thing with like long distance relationships, which is something that I've talked about in the past and something I've done a lot is having to be long distance for my husband. But one way to just be patient with that and get through that is just thinking about, okay, this has to last for how long? Just thinking about that, that end goal or that end um, happening. And I think that can be really helpful in staying patient in those situations. And I do think that if there is no end in sight or if there is no end goal, that's sometimes that's not sustainable and that's not something that can happen. So when you are realizing that you're in a really busy situation or your spouse is really busy, you come to that realization, having an end or being like, okay, this will only last this long and then we'll, then we'll be able to reduce our workload or whatever. I think that's really important because then you might get burnt out, you might get, you know, just impatient with that difficult situation. So anyways, that's what I was telling her that I really always look towards the end. And I also think it's important to view what your spouse is doing as important. So like, I really value the type of education that my husband is getting and I think it's really important and I, you know, I'm glad that that's something that he's doing. So I value, you know, or I admire, I guess, that he is spending so much time doing that thing. And I think that can really help in getting through that sort of tough time or that 
um, busy time is being like, okay, well, I really think that what he's doing is important. So I, I can be patient with this maybe like not ideal schedule, for example. And like same thing with him, like I would think that he would value what I'm doing as something that'll be useful for the both of us and something that will lead to my career, etc. So he can see what I'm doing as also being important and stay patient with it in that way. So I think that's something that should be happening in a relationship or that is really helpful in a relationship when you guys are both really busy valuing what the other person is doing, um, I think can make that situation easier. And one kind of final note that I think is something also that I told my friend that, you know, when one person is maybe busier than the other person, you know, both parties are busy, but one person is busier than the other. One thing that can be helpful in facilitating finding time together is having the person who's less busy or the person who's less busy taking the initiative to do more around the house because they just have more time to do it. So like whether that be, you know, cleaning the house more or like washing the dishes more, cooking more, whatever, kind of getting those chores done so that the person who is more busy when they do have free time doesn't have to do those things or doesn't have to do them as much. I think that can be helpful because that means that when the person who is more busy does have free time, they can spend that free time with their spouse as opposed to catching up on chores that they haven't done or something like that. So I think that can be really helpful and I know me and my husband have kind of like switched off in that way where, you know, in times when I'm more busy, he will kind of pick up the slack and in times when he's more busy, I feel like I pick up the slack. So yeah, that's just another thing that can be really helpful when you know that your spouse is maybe more busy than you, sort of um, dividing the, the work in the house because it does take work to maintain a house, dividing it in a way that is fair based on workload. Um, also another thing that just popped into my head is that of course always whenever a person is going through a difficult time or going through um, a time that's maybe not ideal, making dua and um, relying on God is always really important so that a person can you know deal with those situations and and you know praying to god that you as a couple stay strong throughout and that this time that may be difficult comes to an end that's always really important um, for me and helping me get through difficult times so that's just another thing i thought i would add but yeah that's pretty much everything that i have this is a fairly quick topic i think a fairly quick video but i do think it's helpful and when i was talking to her about it i was like this would make a really interesting video and something that i think that you guys might enjoy listening to so let me know in the comments down below if any of these tips are helpful or if you have any tips on the topic i was just talking about let me know in the comments below anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like it if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you're not already and inshallah i will see you guys in next week's video also leave in the comments down below if you have any video suggestions for me i can always take inspiration from what people want to hear uh, sometimes I have trouble coming up with ideas for videos, so I would love to hear whatever you guys want me to make. So yeah, just let me know in the comments below what you are looking for in a Islamic YouTube channel. So yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in next week's video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Bye!